Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about the Glamcore Multimedia Extreme Lighting Kit. Now if you haven't watched my video from last week on color temperature, it's a very quick video. I would recommend you go and watch that now. I am going to be talking a little bit about color temperature as it relates to how the Glamcore lighting system works. And just so you're not confused, if you watch that video you will definitely be up to date and you'll understand everything you need to understand about color temperature. Now in today's video, of course, I'm gonna give you my review of the system. I'm gonna go through all the details and specs about the lighting system so you can get a better understanding of how it works. I'm gonna set it up, give you a few tips and tricks when it comes to setting up your lighting systems. And of course, I will also talk about how to use this when you are applying makeup. Let's get through all of the basic stuff first. So in this video, as I mentioned, I am reviewing the Glamcore Multimedia Extreme Lighting Kit. Glamcore sent me this lighting kit and they also sent me a few accessories. As you'll see when I set up the lighting system, you're gonna see the two lighting panels and then there's a mount in between the two lighting panels where you can use the accessories to mount your cell phone, your tablet, a camera. They have a number of different things and we'll talk about some of those accessories in just a little bit. This lighting system all on its own is about 460 or $470 Canadian. So I think in American dollars it's about 350 but of course all of the pricing is gonna be on the website and I will link you to everything that I talk about in today's video. When you purchase the Multimedia Extreme Lighting Kit you just Get the lights you don't get all of the attachments but you can purchase the attachments separately and the attachments range in price from about 30 Canadian dollars to around 50 Canadian dollars the other option that you have from Glamcore if you like the idea of the lighting system and all of the accessories together is called the multimedia extreme lit kit so you get the lights and all of the accessories to mount all of your devices onto the lights and I think that one is about five hundred and thirty dollars Canadian if I'm not mistaken and that just gives you everything in one one bundle. So let's talk about the specs of this lighting system before I put it all together and show you what it looks like. There is an adjustable color temperature range. It's 2700 Kelvin all the way to 5600 Kelvin, which I think I mentioned in the last video. I used this Glamcore lighting system as an example. So what that means is that when you do set up the lights, you can get that warmer, dimmer light on your talent or you can bump it up and just use the lighting so it looks very similar to natural daylight and it's really important to have that natural daylight coming from any lighting system that you are purchasing so you can very clearly see what your talent looks like. This is great if you're doing bridal work for your brides that are getting married in the middle of the day or having photos outside in the middle of the day. You want your lighting system to be able to replicate the scenarios where your talent or model or clients are going to be photographed or filmed. The transition of the lighting when you make it brighter or more dim is very smooth. The light does not flicker. When lights flicker, it's very uncomfortable for you and for your talent. So there's no flickering of lights with the Glamcore lighting system. Those are just a few of the features of this lighting system. So let me set it up so you can see what it actually looks like. Here's the bag that your Glamcore lighting system will come in. It's very compact. Everything fits into this bag. You can see the size of it here. It's very narrow. The weight of it, it's extremely light. It's about five pounds. Considering a lot of the bags that you're going to be carrying around probably weigh anywhere from 15 to 25 pounds, five pounds is extremely light. So it is going to feel very light and compact when you're carrying it. The bag itself is a black fabric bag. If you do have any pets at home, for me, Ozzy's hair sticks all over this bag. So you want to make sure that you kind of lint roller it before you leave the house so you don't have a bag covered in cat hair. Another tip that I have if you do have any fabric bags whether it's your Zuka bag or a bag like this or just a set bag I would recommend weather guarding it just pick up a spray from a shoe store that protects fabric you can spray these types of bags the bag does get stuck outside or you are transporting it in the rain or snow the bag won't get soaked and your stuff inside the bag won't get destroyed so I try to do this about once a year usually at the end of the summer I'll spray all of my fabric bags so the rain can kind of just repel right off if you're taking public transit if you work on sets that are outdoors quite often that's something I would definitely recommend doing with all of your fabric bags another great feature with this bag there is a little flap of fabric on the back placed right there so you can slide this bag over the handle of your luggage or a Zuka bag. It fits perfectly over the Zuka bag and then you're more easily able to transport this around with you. The weight of the lighting system is properly balanced. So the heaviest part of the system, which is the telescopic stand, is in the bottom portion and then the luminary or the lights is in the top portion of the bag. It's very evenly weighted and it's not gonna be awkward to carry around. The bag itself is actually divided into two compartments. So you have a larger compartment on the top and then you have a smaller compartment in the bottom. I'm gonna unzip the bottom portion 
question for you. And you can see how easy this system is for me to handle. It's not heavy, it's not awkward. It's very easy to unpack and move around. Here's the telescopic stand. So this is your light stand. This is tucked really snugly into the bottom portion of the bag, and that's the size of it. Let's open the top portion. This is where the luminary is. This is really awesome. You can put um, the lighting system here. You can tuck in your accessories here. And they do also have a smaller compartment here for the charger and also the remote control that comes with it. This lighting system does have a remote control and I'll show you how that works in just a sec. Here's the top portion of the lighting system. So this is what Glamcore calls the luminary. And this is the way you're gonna fold up the lights to pack it back into the bag and another great feature is that they do have individual covers for each of the LED panels. These little covers come in really handy if you are going to be transporting your lighting system around or if you're going to be working in maybe an outdoor environment. It just gives you an extra layer of protection and of course if you are moving your lighting system around in case something falls or somebody knocks it over when it is unattended, if you do have these covers on it just gives you a little bit of padding so that nothing damages the panels. Okay, so once your lighting system is out of the bag and your covers are off, all you need to do is this and set up the lighting system on the stand. And then this middle portion here, which is also very flexible, this is where you are going to mount all of your attachments for your phone, your camera, and all that stuff. Let's talk about the telescopic stand. Now there's a few things that you need to keep in mind when you are setting this up. These knobs right here, it's really important to pay attention when you are tightening or loosening these. They are plastic, so you have to be careful. You can't give a lot of force when you're tightening or loosening. And if this falls multiple times and you mistreat something like this with a plastic knob eventually the knobs are going to crack or you're going to lose this part here and it's going to be very hard for you to tighten and loosen so just be cautious about that when you're setting up the stand you're going to start by loosening this one here if you loosen all of the knobs while you're setting up the stand what's going to happen is this can fly out the whole thing can kind of come out and it can cause a problem and i've seen it happen multiple times on set so you want to just be careful and cautious when you are setting up a stand like this you're going to pop out the legs a little bit and then you're going to be able to open up the base of the stand. Now the base of the stand, this is important to pay attention to with this and any lighting system that you are purchasing when there is a stand involved. Make sure before you put it down and continue setting up the lighting system that you tighten this bottom knob. It's important that the lighting system is secure and balanced and the lighting system gets all its balance from this base part of the stand. So just make sure that this one is pretty tight, not too tight where you can't undo it, but tight enough so that the stand feels soft. Now that the bottom portion of my stand is secure, I'm going to go up to the second knob, loosen it up, and then secure it. And then you can set it up from there and make it as high or as low as you want. One last thing that I wanted to mention with the stand, so the luminary gets mounted onto the top portion of the stand. Before you mount the lights, give yourself a couple of inches, and I'll show you why. Hope everybody can see that. That's the bottom portion of the luminary. So this larger hole is where you're gonna mount this onto the stand. And this smaller hole is where you're actually going to put the power cord. So I'm gonna put this on for you. So this is the back side of the lighting system, just so you can see. I'm gonna mount this on. This little screw just secures the luminary onto the stand. This is the power cord that comes with the lighting system. Another bonus with this uh, glam cord is that they have a really nice Velcro strip to make sure your cords stay neat and organized, which I love. The power cord actually attaches to the underside of the lighting system, which is why you need to give yourself that couple of inches. If you're trying to jam the cord in between this knob and the power system, you're just gonna create stress on the cord. It might wreck the connection, and then you're gonna have a damaged power source and you won't be able to turn your lights on. You can see how easy this lighting system is to assemble. It's only two pieces, so the luminary and the telescopic stand. The LED panels themselves do swivel. So depending on where you are, if you're in a really tight space and you can only set them up this wide and you do wanna angle the light a little bit, you have all of these options for setup. The center portion you can also move and manipulate. This piece here is where you're gonna mount your accessories. The accessories are very easy to mount. This is the camera accessory. It's very simple, you just line up the whole with the little pegs and then slide them over and then this portion here you can unscrew and loosen so you can set your camera up that way if you were using the cell phone mount all all of the accessories are mounted the same way and you can adjust 
the cell phone, you know, however you see fit, whatever you want to film. So it's very easy to do that way. There is a USB for charging on the side of the luminary, which is very helpful. And then if you can see on this side here, you've got a few buttons if you want to operate the light manually. So the buttons are for brightness, if you want to make it brighter or more dim. And then there's also a color temperature setting. So if you want to make the light cooler or warmer, you can do that just manually on the side of the luminary. Another great feature of this lighting system is the remote control. It's so fun to use and you can control a lot of things about this light with your remote control. Try not to lose this. I've already almost lost it a couple times. It's very tiny and it's extremely lightweight. So even if you put it in your pocket, you probably won't feel it after a couple hours on set. So do not lose track of this. There's a lot of important functions that are gonna help you use this lighting system. So if we take a closer look at the remote, you can adjust both the brightness and color temperature. If you recall from last week's video, I talked to you about Kelvin and that's what that little K stands for. So you can either make make the light cooler or warmer. There's also preset color temperatures on this remote, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. So from 2700K to 5600K, so you've got your dim lighting all the way to your daylight. Then you have M1, M2, M3 on the bottom of the remote. These are just memory keys. Basically, if you have your light set up on a specific setting for a shoot, you can have the remote remember the settings that the light was on. So if you're shooting the same scene, maybe the following week, or you're doing reshoots, and you had prepped your talent under a specific light, you can program the memory keys to remember those specific settings. And then at the bottom, you've got your Bluetooth function. So there is Bluetooth capability with this lighting system and you can connect your camera to the remote and take selfies or pictures or whatever you wanna do. What I'm gonna do right now is actually turn off all of my lights and turn on the glam core with the remote and show you the different color temperature settings so you can see what I mean when I talk about warm lighting and daylight and cool lighting. My lighting system is off. I'm gonna turn on the glam core lighting system with the remote. You can adjust, of course, the brightness of the light if you want. You can make the light not as bright and you can see as I'm making these adjustments with the remote, the light is not flickering, which is really important. A flickering light is one of the most annoying things for me, it's an instant headache and it's really uncomfortable for the person sitting in your chair. With the glam core lights, they do not flicker when you make any adjustments. Now let's talk about the color temperature settings. With this, I want you to pay attention to the color of the LEDs as I go through each setting. We're gonna start with the lowest setting, which is already pre-programmed on the remote, and that's 2700 Kelvin. Now this lighting is very warm, and if you remember from last week, the lower the Kelvin value, the warmer the light. So you can see even cast onto my skin, even though the light is not directly facing me, it's a very warm light. This would be equivalent to a room that's candle lit or a darker room with a small lamp. That's the type of lighting that this color temperature is similar to. Now we're gonna go to the second value, which is 4200 Kelvin that's pre-programmed. This is just a nice neutral light. You can see it's not as cool and it's also not casting a blue tone. So we're right in the middle. And let's go to the 5600 Kelvin setting. And this lighting you can see is very blue. So compared to the first setting that I showed you, which was 2700 Kelvin, you can see how warm that is and how cool this is. Now, if you turn this on to your talent, if I were to turn this around and shine it on myself, which I will do, this is going to appear like natural sunlight. So this is a setting to use if you're prepping somebody during the day, if they are gonna be shooting in a setting where they're gonna be lit with direct sunlight. If you're doing your personal clients and they're taking pictures outside during the day, that's gonna be the setting that you wanna use on this glam core lighting system. So my lights are back on. I do wanna talk about working with this system and how to set it up and where to put it when you are working. Right now, this stand is actually half on a carpet, half on a floor, but it does make it very wobbly. When you you are setting up this lighting system to work just make sure it's on a flat surface if you need to fold up some paper or paper towel underneath the bottom of the stand to keep it level I would recommend doing that it'll just make your lighting more stable when you are setting this up you are always gonna be working in front of this lighting system so you're gonna be standing here your lights are gonna be on and your client is going to be here the great thing about this lighting system is that you can spread this as wide as possible so you have lots of room to move around and work and talk to your client and you'll still have lighting on either side of you and you won't be blocking any of the light with this lighting system or with any lighting system that you're purchasing you need to have two sources of light if you have one light source or one panel or one ring light when you stand in front and when you start working on your clients you're going to be blocking a lot of the light which defeats the purpose of having lighting in the first place having these arms with these LED lighting panels is going to be very helpful for you no matter where you're working you can make them smaller and closer together 
or you can make them really wide if you're going to be moving around the person that you're working on and you need more space you still won't be blocking the light we already talked about color temperature so you know the color temperature range of this lighting system you can get that warmer light you can get that natural sunlight you can use this lighting to prep your clients or talent for any job if you're shooting commercials if you have an in-home studio if you're doing bridal this will do the job for you it does get quite bright for those of you that are doing stuff more on yourself or you want to get into doing more videos or you'd like to even film yourself behind the scenes doing makeup on your clients or talent you will be able to do that with this lighting system it is bright enough and with the attachments you can mount your camera or your cell phone they really thought this through and because our jobs now do involve social media and people want to see actual photos of your work and some of that behind the scenes stuff and videos of you applying makeup this is a great lighting system for that one thing that I think would be really handy it's the accessory that I'm probably going to purchase Glamcore didn't send it to me is the tabletop accessory and there are two there's like a flat tabletop mount and then a clamp I think that's gonna come in really handy I think it would be great to have that attachment if you were working in an in-home studio and you can just set it up on a table and have lighting there and have your mirror in between and the stand wouldn't be out in your studio space for me because I so often work in really tight quarters a lot of times I'm not even gonna have room to put this stand in the area where I'm prepping my talent without being worried about someone knocking it over or just myself backing up into the stand and knocking it over. So the tabletop accessory for those of you that do work bridal or you work film or you work jobs very often where you're stuck in a small space, the tabletop accessory is gonna be great. Of course, for me, the cell phone mount is very helpful. There is a mirror, there is the camera mount as well. So it's really up to you in terms of what content you're gonna be creating and what you wanna use the lighting system for. I think you can tell I'm a big fan of the Glamcore lighting system. I think based on how the lighting system is constructed, what they're offering you with the mounts and the accessories and the brightness of the lighting, having the remote control and the ability to adjust the color temperature, I think the lighting system is priced very fairly and I think it's definitely worth the money. I've been working with this specific system over the last couple of weeks and it's bright enough to do anything that you need. You can record your own videos on yourself, you can take pictures of your models and talent even in the darkest room. You're going to be able to get something that looks great on camera especially for your social media I actually purchased the first Glamcore lighting system ever many many years ago it was my first time purchasing lighting for my kit and it just made a huge difference in the quality of my work it also made me more confident going on to set because I knew I wasn't gonna have to worry about lighting I was more confident visiting my brides and my personal clients I knew that I would be able to see what I'm doing which makes you faster it gives you the ability to produce a higher caliber of work it's just something that every artist eventually should invest in if you are going to be making this your career you do need to have lighting it's just such an important part of our jobs it's something you should save up and budget for this lighting system and all of the other things that Glamcore has to offer you'll be able to find on their website there is no pro artist discount on the smaller lighting systems because the product is already sold at a very fair price so the product has already been discounted for you so you can go and check that out I actually have an affiliate link with Glamcore which I'm really excited about so if you are considering purchasing the Glamcore lighting system and you want to support me a little bit as well you can purchase them through my affiliate link that's right that's right you want to say hi so myself and Russell would definitely appreciate it if you did purchase the Glamcore lighting through the affiliate link I will include that for you in the description if you have any more questions about the lighting system you can put them in the comments and I will see you on the next video bye everyone say bye say bye